Hello guys, welcome back to the Future Internet Cafe. My name is Catherine and in this video we are going to learn how to download your BRS certificate that is your business registration certificate after you have successfully registered your business so let's get started so first go to ecitizen ecitizen.go.ke as you can see on your screen that's how the official ecitizen website looks like click on sign in So once you click on sign in, it's going to take you to the login page. Enter your email address or your ID number based on whatever you use. Enter your password and click on sign in. It's going to open your eCitizen account. Confirm that all the details that you have entered are correct and that you're using your own profile. Okay, scroll down to BRS, Business Registration Services. Once you click on Business Registration Service, it's going to tell you to confirm that you are logging in with the following details. Confirm that they are yours and click on Continue. It's going to open your BRS portal. This is the old portal. This is how it looked like, but they have transitioned to a new portal. So click on the here, the ones are called in, in the blue, in the red and blue. Okay, click on here. This is how the BRS portal looks like. Click on sign in. In case you don't see sign in, there will be dashboard there. Click on dashboard. Again, it's going to ask you to confirm that you're signing in with eCitizen and with the following details. Confirm and click on continue. It's going to open your portal with your name. Under company registry services, click on proceed. Your BRS portal is going to open uh, on the make application page. Click on application history. So under application history, you are going to see the application number of the business that you registered and the status will have changed to registered. And at the end there, under action, there is view. So click on view if your business status is registered. Once you click on view, it's going to show that business, the business name, the application number, who applied for it, what name has been reserved, what date it was registered and so forth and so forth. So scroll down and under downloads, there are three downloads. There's the name reservation certificate, the business name registration certificate and the receipt, your receipt payment for your business name registration. So you can download all the three documents and keep for safekeeping or print them. So what you want to download is your business name registration certificate. That is the certificate that shows that your business name has been registered. So you can download all of them and keep for safekeeping just in case. So once you have downloaded or printed, keep a copy for your safekeeping. As you can see, these are, these are how the documents look like. The one on the left is the name reservation certificate. Uh, it basically shows that this is how your name is going to be registered. So confirm that the name has been typed correctly. And on the right, there is the, the receipt, receipt payment document. There are usually two of them. One is a government copy and the other one is a customer copy. So. Uh, you can compare and check if you have the right documents. And finally, here we have the business registration certificate, your certificate of registration for your business name. It has the business name, your business name number, where it was registered. That is the address that you entered and the name of the business. So this is usually what you present in official capacities. For example, you want to go to the bank and open a bank account for your business. They are going to ask for you, you for the certificate of registration. The name reservation and the receipt won't be needed anywhere. Those are just for your safekeeping. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, like, 
share and if you have any questions leave us a comment thank you for watching my name is Catherine, and i have been your guide throughout this video until next time bye bye